okay if you're going to use Apple's keynote software for presenting or digital storytelling or creating vector graphics all three of them can really go together what you're going to need to do is customize your toolbar within keynote so that you have access to the powerful tools that are available so you want to double tap in this blank zone up top here you can just uh, control click if you prefer a lot of what we do is very basic, but it's about layering. So you're going to want to get the forward, backward, front, uh, and back tools up here, as well as flipping horizontally and vertically. That can become uh, very important later on when you're working with vector graphics. Of course, you can use command keys, command option G or command option shift G, but maybe you don't remember those. So just for the time being, if you like, put group and ungroup up there. Mask, also important. What I consider the most powerful tool is Instant Alpha. It allows you to do just about anything you want if you're creative enough and spend the time without having to go in and learn uh, Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. These are good platforms, you need to know them later on, but say you do a lot of things that I do. You work with some younger students, this gets them started. They get under some understandings of how to create things like that. Now, finally, the shape. You might think that sounds pretty simple, but actually when you use the draw with pen that I will show you, you can do a lot of really amazing things and that's going to empower you when you get into um, vector graphic creation. Now click done and we're here. Uh, this was very short. So let me just quickly walk you through what you might be able to do with draw with pen. Wherever you tap, it puts a point. Make something really simple here um, just to get us started. And Let's make this look, I don't know, like a, a boot, I guess. Once you click on the final spot, now what you have is uh, a shape itself, a polygon, and you can fill it in, do whatever you want with it. You have to make sure that it's closed before you can do that. Now, if you cl double click on any of the points you made, you can round it out. Make it look a little bit more something like this. You can also change things around if that's too wide for you. Maybe you want to tuck it in a little bit. Once you click outside, it's done. And now you can do whatever you want with it. Double click on the lines and they bring them back. You can grab the things between them even and do a bunch of however you really prefer to do anything and draw it around like that. Anyway, that's enough for now. We'll get more into vector graphics in a later tutorial. Thank you very much. Go customize that toolbar.